Welcome, welcome on the official community tournament to grand finale between DBG and Kakaos Mende Manden. They will fight for the first place and Steelbeard and Poważny Regionista should fight for the third place. Um, obviously, DBG and Kakaos Menden will fight for the first place. And guys, unfortunately, uh, we will start this uh, broadcast from uh, bad or sad information. Unfortunately, today, guys, we will watch only the grand finally so maybe not only maybe the big grand finally between dbg and kakaos manden but unfortunately we will not uh, experience the fight between two brave warlords steelbeard and poważny legionista um the reason of that uh, thing is uh, simple guys unfortunately steelbeard forgot that today uh, we are having um finals and he is sitting right now in his office so everybody guys uh is praying right now for steel beard so maybe his day will be at least a little bit better after he realized that he's unable to participate in the grand finally uh but yeah i hope so his uh, shift will end better than this uh but obviously guys uh, normally this situation should end up like that that poważny legionista should win and he will achieve uh, the uh, third position but due to the story that poważny legionista agreed that he do not want to give uh, valkover to steelbeard boys will play uh, their match um at the end of the week and they will try to provide me with the uh, record of uh, their match um so obviously guys as you remember as it was with the community tournament part one um the entire record of the grand finally uh, appeared later on on youtube channel official youtube channel of destructive creation i will uh, send a link to it uh, right now on the chat let me just find it and uh, destructive creations um yes so this will be the same situation with uh, that final uh obviously after uh we will finish it after we will edit it uh we will upload it to youtube so if the boys uh from the second uh, final steelbeard and poważny legionista will provide me with uh, the record of the match uh then i will try to add it to today's uh transmission and you will be able to see that match on our youtube but no promises it depends on that if the boys will deliver a uh, record of their match but okay guys going back to our grand final uh, thank you one more time everyone everyone who was uh, who were participating in uh, our uh, second part of the tournament uh, we had this time 34 persons um, as you can see uh, right now only four brave uh, warlords are left um and obviously guys i'm just reminding quick reminder that if you want to participate in a future tournaments uh because obviously we will try to make some don't forget to join our discord everything is uh all, always organized via our discord it's a small uh community tournament uh for mostly your joy with some small gifts to uh, all participants uh which i will talk about a little bit more later um so yeah guys you are obviously always able to find not only information about the tournament but as well people to play with an ancestors legacy on our discord so be sure to join it if you want to play it uh welcome xardi welcome yes 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 it starts at 3 p.m it start starts at 3 p.m so guys um as i said unfortunately today we will not watch steelbeard against poważny legionista but we can see how dbg and kakaos manden reached finally uh, let's see how dbg started at the beginning because guys we have a weird situation uh, right now today we will have germans against the germans in finals you remember that previously we had on the tournament number one we had germans against vikings to be honest steelbird played uh vikings in a previous uh, episode of our tournament you can check it on youtube uh Yes, but okay, let's see uh, how it was. DBG at the beginning uh, defeated Slavs, uh, later on Anglo-Saxons, Kurds, later on uh, Vikings, and later on Anglo-Saxons. So to be honest, DBG uh, didn't fight against any Germans yet 
in this uh, tournament. Let's see if Kakao Smanden fought against Germans. No, no. He fought against Vikings at the beginning. Oh, Xard. <laughs> Xard, unfortunately, uh, go out of the ladder pretty soon this time. Uh, then uh, Kakao defeated Vikings. Then Slavs later on again. One more time, Slavs. And, uh, okay, so both of our f uh, grind finalists will fight against the germans for the first time in this episode of the tournament i just want to mention guys that kakao smanden was the great warlord um uh, who raised, he, he raised the crown in the previous uh, community tournament number one. So let's see if today DBG will be able to defeat the warlord, the best warlord for now. Uh, or if uh, the Kakaos Manden will keep the crown of the best warlord in Ancestors Legacy. Um, uh, competitive community let's say <laughs> okay guys so uh without expanding that introduction we are moving straight towards the match we are switching the overlay obviously mm, we are prepared the dbg already in uh lobby as well as the kakao's mountain i hope so we will not experience any lags uh, because unfortunately dbg as far as i remember is from australia so uh, it can be it we will see we will see how it will look like okay boys i will guys just remind you as one more time uh the rules of the tournament um obviously the boys are playing best of three uh one against one and at the beginning they are picking their own maps so uh, if uh, one of them will win the two first maps then we do not need the third map if we will need the third map then it will be burned and ruined so we will see uh, obviously the game mode is annihilation uh, they are starting with 100 percent resources and the time limit for the match is for one map is 60 minutes so those are main uh main rules okay boys I think so. Uh, everyone is ready. We can move on to the finale. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Team Kakao? Come on, guys. DBG needs some support. DBG needs some support. <laughs> Kakao's Manden already have a crown of the community tournament number one. I hope so that boys uh, didn't fall asleep because unfortunately we are s oh yes good 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 because we were in that lobby from like an 20 or 30 minutes dbg is really nice but i'm loyal to my husband okay okay i see let's see i'm not taking any sides okay I'm wondering what you think, guys. Uh, I've seen a lot of opinions on Discord that you think uh, Germans are the most powerful nation in the entire uh, game. What do you think about it? Do you agree with that opinion? Team DBG, Team Kaka. Okay. Fast loading, yeah. Surprises me as well. Obviously, both of our boys are starting from capturing the nearest uh, warehouse. Yep. Who will be first let's see that micro wing oh look at that dbg will cap it first i think yep for sure good luck and have fun exactly exactly secretary though i'm missing a little bit of uh, music here in the background let me just play something maybe Okay, DBG is capturing the first warehouse and he is moving with the Rudolf, I think so, to scout a little bit. Yes, Germans are the most powerful. The fastest way to get catapult is too powerful. Early catapults change everything. Maybe that's explaining why uh, the previous episode uh, of our community tournament was won by Kakaos Manden, who played with Germans. And right now, why do we have uh, two German factions in uh, the finale? Okay. 
two Rudolphs. Two Rudolphs are fighting against each other. And, uh, okay, but Kakao, I think so, he's not trying to support his Rudolph. Yeah, boys are just living that one v honorable 1v1 over here. Uh, okay, DBG right now woke up because uh, this unit was freezed here for some time. So yeah, DBG was first to cap uh, the first warehouse, but right now I think so... Uh, microwing from the i don't know if we can already speak about a microwing but i think so kakao will uh first cap the second uh, warehouse yep that's almost sh ah no no dbg is contesting okay what's happening over here okay dbg is uh attacking the archers Ooh, nice nice uh what about our 1v1? Okay, DBG is running away. And this Mr. Ludo Rudolph is just hiding in the bushes. There we go. From time to time, I will try to show you that. Obviously. Okay, DBG have won two warehouses, same as uh, Kakao. Germans are always starting slow, so I think so we will not uh, experience any early uh, rushes like we did on the previous uh, final uh, between the Steelbeard who was playing with the Vikings. That's 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 the thing which I'm wondering about. Do you think so, guys? The boys will go uh, first of all to farm uh, materials and you know upgrade tech and then fight with each other, or we are expecting some early rushes? Once the first catapult is up, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. Akao is contesting the warehouse. And what DBG is doing? Mm, okay. He is... Okay, he is just going back with the units. Let me check the town hall levels. Okay, both guys are on level two. Obviously, income bigger from the uh, Kakao's Manden. The true story that he just capped it from the DBG. I'm not sure if. Kakao knows about those cavalry infantry. Cleaver infantry, I mean. Okay, Kakao is approaching towards E. With archers. I'm not seeing any archers on the DBG side, to be honest. Yeah. He knows, he sees, remember last time. Okay. <laughs> you sure he knows about that unit? I think so, even DBG forget about it, to be honest. <laughs> Look at that. Or maybe he's just preparing some... some strategy, who knows, who knows. Okay, looks like Kakao will surprise Rudolf. Yep. Okay, Kakao is capturing E. Is DBG able to defend uh, D? Yeah, looks like. Looks like Kakao don't even care about that. He's moving back. Okay, right now DBG... Uh, I thought that he will use it to finish this group of the infantry.
where do you see the first catapult? Where do you see it? I don't think so. It's 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 not with us yet. Oh, it is. It is. Okay. So DBG rushed for it. DBG rushed for it. The ballista, you mean? Okay. Kakao is destroying F. But in the meantime, DBG is contesting E. But still, income, yeah, it's on the cacao side. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think so the main focus for both boys is on is over here. It's on E, yep. brave move from DBG, but I I don't know what he thinks. He didn't stand a chance against the Spearmans and two German archers. Yeah, it looks like Kakao is taking this one. Obviously, DBG is camping here with that Ballista, praying for some stupid rush from Kakaos, but as Sekirito said, I'm not expecting this type of uh, behavior from the Kakaos. Do we have a ballista on the cacao site? No! Not yet. Cacao decided to just start with those archers and... At least for now, it looks good for him. Again, 1v1. <laughs> Rudolf against Rudolf, the honorable battle. So, if you know... Uh... Kakao's Manden that well, Sekirito. Maybe you can tell us if he plays some different RTS games or only Ancestor's Legacy. Okay, but a DBG is moving with the Panzer Spearman towards the B. Yep. Some backdoor move. While Kakao is just slowly pushing towards. Like an elephant. <laughs> I hope so he'll be not angry at me. Or that elephant. Okay, but it looks like he has nothing here to defend it. Yep. Okay. Is that infantry able to survive? Yes, yes, it is. Lucky DBG. Or maybe calculated. Super. RTS mastered them. Ah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I expected, to be honest. Things like StarCraft. Or any specific title. Okay. Let me see the income. Hmm. Right now, DBG is winning. But he has... Like, like everything for now is top tier for DBG. Even the pink. 360. Holy moly. This is crazy. How, are, how the squads are looking like. Yeah, it's, it's clearly visible that the boys are investing in a tech right now. Because we are not seeing any new uh, units appearing. Okay. Kakao is going back with the Rudolf. Two archer divisions are defending here with the Spearmans. Is DBG planning to... Engage over here? I don't think so. Okay, Panzer Cavalry from DBG. It's moving here to support B. While Kakaos is slowly moving with the Spearmans to contest it. Let's see. Oh, no. My fault. I thought this Panzer Cavalry will support B, but it looks like DBG is just backstabbing here on E or he will move to F. 
No, he's just moving around for now. Yep, unfortunately, Xardi. Okay, but it looks like Kakaos is expecting some cheeky backdoor, so he is not engaging here. Yeah, he knew. He knew about it. Maybe the plan was to engage here with the uh, Spearmans against Spearmans and then backdoor with the Panzer Cavalry. I don't know if that's a wise move from DBG to engage on that Panzer Spearman with the Cavalry. But okay, from behind he will engage with... Uh, maybe, maybe, who knows. Okay, and while DBG is focus, focused here, Takao is making a move on the, bo on the bottom. Oh, Rudolph, you need to move. Good. Okay, those spearmen are running, same as the cavalry did previously. And DBG once more is hiding those spearmen over here, trying to prepare some drop yeah clearly we can see that the, the front let's say uh, froze and right now boys are just taking up ooh dbg oh whoa whoa he will lose it. He will lo yes, DBG lost, unfortunately, the Panzer Cavalry. Ay, ay, ay. I don't think so. It was planned. He just put that unit in a really bad spot. Oh, yeah. You can clearly see that the Kakao have uh, armor already. The eagle eye from Xart. Okay, we have another battle over here. But uh, you can see that, that the DBG have the armor as well. Okay, DBG is capping A with another Panzer Cavalry. I see that DBG is a bushman. He really likes to sit in those high grasses. <laughs> yeah, he has blue half catapult in a base. But the DBG have a, a catapult as well. Both of them have. And DBG is already engaging at F with the catapults. And where is the catapult from Kakao? Over here. So, yeah, he destroyed B. And right now he's trying to get rid of those units. Cavalry is killing the villagers. While F is destroyed and the Kakaos is slowly retreating from that point. At least it looks like. Okay, the Ballista is moving forward from DBG. Let's see units. Okay, as we can see, uh, DBG uh, decided to go for Ballista, while Kakaos decided to go for the archers. Um... Okay, the Mud Pit Trap. I haven't seen yet the DBG going through that path, but who knows? I think so, Kakaos knows better. <laughs> Okay, DBG surrender right now. GG! The first map is going uh, in the hands of our best warlord from the first episode of the community tournament, Kakaos Monden. But it's not over yet. It's not over yet, lads. 
we are still going to the second map and who knows if dpg will be able to uh take it from the cacao then we are going to oh no no no, no. i'm and i'm entering the campaign my hands are just too quick very height of folly is this gonna be 2 0? I don't think so. I don't think so. For wayside farms, aware that our empty bellies were the worst. You can see where I ended up in a campaign. <laughs> it wasn't good. Okay, boys, can you just invite me to the lobby one more time, Kakao? Level one. Oh, this is just a new account. Don't judge me. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> I played some. Okay, I'm just right now waiting for the invite from the cacao. Uh, let's see. Uh, on the Discord, I'll just message the boys to invite me to the lobby. I'm just wondering who picked the first map. If it was the pick from uh, Kakao or if it was the pick from DBG. I know you have DC icon with death hugs. Exactly. Exactly. This is how it is. You know it. Thank you so much, guys. Okay. Spectacle. I'm ready. And right now we are going for the collateral damage. Good luck. Have fun. Good luck. Have fun. I'm not gonna lie, I'm crossing my fingers for the BG. For real, I want to see third map on Burned and Ruined. Because as you remember guys, first map and second map is chosen by players, but the third map is given by Destructive Creation, which is Burned and Ruined in that case. Quick reminder guys, obviously while we are mating, oh, okay, yes, I'm ready. While we are waiting for the match, uh, if you want to participate in future in our tournaments, don't forget to join our Discord. You have a link in the description of the broadcast. Uh, there we are uniting players who wants to play with each other. And there as well, we are announcing tournaments uh, when the new one will appear. And for sure, uh, this is not the last one. Okay. We are going for music in the background, that's for sure. Let's go. As always, beginning like that, that uh, one of us... So, Kakao's Manden, I mean DBG is going for G, and Kakao's Manden is going for A. Let's go. see who will be quicker again dbg oh right now we uh boys are playing on server hosted by dbg i see Let's hope for the 2-1. Exactly. That's what I want to see. I want to see three maps. You know, Steelbeard unfortunately forgot about our grind finals. Uh, and he is right now in his office. So we will not see the match for the third place. So at least uh, I would love to see three maps on the grind finally. On this match for the first place. Kakao must be confident on this map. Do you know who chose that map, Sekirido? Is it a pick from the Kakao or is it a pick from DBG? Okay. DBG have more units, which means Kakao's is saving for tech. And as on the previous map, DBG capped the first warehouse first, uh, but the second one is going into the hands of a uh, cack house first. Yep. That's how it looks like. Okay, 
boys for now are not sending Rudolphs to scout some. Yeah. They're keeping them in the back step. Indeed. Yep, Sekirito. You are right. And I think so on that map, Kakao won on the previous finale uh, in a quickest way. I think so both, uh, li like the second map was way much harder for him than that one. He dominated Vikings over here. Okay, but look at that. DBG is capturing middle. And unfortunately, Kakao is unable to contest it with the Rudolph. So we will have DBG on three maps farm, on three warehouses farm, uh, while Kakao have only two of them. It was insanely fast. Yes, it was. And we have to remember about that, that if I remember correctly, uh, Steelbeard on the previous episode of the tournament didn't uh, surrender. Kakao just demolished him on that map. Okay, so Kakao is going for this warehouse. While DBG I see is trying to do everything was possible to cover middle. Pretty similar income from both. Okay, but Kakao have more uh, spearmans. civilians he does not know how things all his path leads to victory <laughs> is he paying you for cheering to him that's how it looks like okay dbg is trying to cap uh, the warehouse as well and right now i think so the most important part of the game uh, is approaching uh, if DBG will be able to hold the middle and Kakao's Manden will be unable to contest him here, I think so. He have a solid chance to win this map. <laughs> okay. I trust you. Soon he will engage. Okay, but maybe not here. Maybe he's just... He's going sideways. Over here, two divisions of the Cleaver Infantry are fighting with the Spearmans and the Rudolph. And what's approaching? Let me see. Another Cleaver Infantry from DBG. No archers. No units with projectiles yet. At any site. This villager already knows that it's better to run away. <laughs> Something massive will happen here pretty soon. Okay. Kakao is approaching here. Is DBG trying to stop him? Yes, Rudolph is approaching, but I don't think so. It's enough. While DBG contested uh, Spearman's on middle. Okay, Rudolph against Rudolph over here. Ooh, nice. Nice catch on those Spearman's. Ooh. Do you think so? Kakaos will lose them? Ah, yeah, yeah, almost, almost. Okay, just in time. He called retreat. Ooh, I'm surprised why those Spearmans are not engaging over here. I think so, that's a big mistake from DBG. Hey, Rudolf almost died as well over here. If you say that was a close timing, look at Rudolf over here. Look at him. 
one arrow and he's dead. <laughs> yep. But the problem is that DBG didn't engage over here. I don't know why. Ah, okay. I see. I see. He was waiting for those cleaver infantry to engage over here. So he was just protecting the flank. Ah, it wasn't that stupid. It wasn't that stupid. Because then if he will engage those spearmen from behind, the cleaver infantry will run into those spearmen from behind as well. So who will end up surrounded then? I don't know. Oh, but look, Kakao lost the entire uh, unit here. Okay, game is currently paused by DBG. I hope so. He's not experiencing any internet difficulties, but yeah, looks like no. Good. Does this look like fast finish again? You think so? Right now, I think so. The DBG have a small advantage. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe you are right. <laughs> we will see. We will see how those crossbows will leverage the advantage of Kakao's Manden. Yeah, that's the problem of DBG. DBG have a big issue right now. He has no projectiles at all. So technically, Kakao is able to kite him, right? Okay, Rudolf, what are you doing here? Rudolf Sergei is engaging from behind and he's moving through the middle of the battlefield. Okay, Spearman's from DB. Ooh, nice! He took the attention of the crossbows on the Rudolf while engaging with the Pike Spearman's against the Spearman's. Oh, look. Cross crossbows are engaging on a close quarters. That's a good sign for DBG, but not. Nah. He's disengaging. What's happening here? Okay, another Spearman's. And the Cleaver infantry engaging from the side. Ah, uh, but unfortunately, I feel pretty bad about that setup against two units of the crossbows. Oh yeah. And again, Kakao with the elephant strategy, slowly pushing forward and demolishing his enemy. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. I think so right now, DBG have a massive problem to deal with those crossbows. But this time, Kakao is without... Uh, with some issues and some difficulties, right? I'm not sure if he planned to lose that uh, Spearman unit in the middle. Okay, DBG is regrouping. I'm wondering if he's creating some archers. Yes, he created one archers. But I'm not sure, again, if that's enough against two crossbows. But from the other side, he has the armor upgrade. On Spearman's. Kakao's not. Yeah, but... Look how the situation rapidly changed. DBG is pushed to the deep defense right now. He's trying to fight back for that medal. For sure he has to do something. Otherwise, Kakao will close him in that small piece of the map because as you can see here we have cliffs so the only road how dbg is able to move down is this this piece of the map so if the uh cacao will lock it completely then i think it'll look really bad for dbg so he's trying to keep it open No ballistas yet, right? No, ballista from DBG. Yeah. 
brutal. Scouting as always. Catapult. Yep, 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 yep. My hole. Okay, DBG is trying to flank with the cleavers. What are the crossbows? Okay, incoming. The archers are here as well. The final fight upon us, I think so. Okay, crossbows are poking spearmans. Uh, does he know that the cleavers are waiting there? Okay, but crossbows are moving back. Cavalry is joining the fight. The catapult as well is moving toward towards D, you think? Where are you going, dear catapult? Ooh, but the catapult is getting demolished by the crossbowmans. Yes. And where are the cleavers? Oh my god, cleavers right now with the big delay are joining the fight from behind. Yes. Three. It was a good plan, I think so, but bad execution. DBG tried to move into the crossbowman's units uh, with those cleaver infantry, but unfortunately he came with a really bad timing. Looks like Kakao is going for another victory in the grand finale of the Ancestors Legacy Community Tournament, guys. What do you think? Is DBG able to bring it back? I'm not sure. Look at the difference. Hey, those spearmans are defending themselves, but meanwhile... DBG is losing another warehouse. A lot of solid facts about Kakao's Manden we have right now on chat. Thank you so much for that, Alcina. Indeed, indeed, Sekirito. I think so that if if someone in the future will be able to conquer Kakao's Manden, he needs to play with different nation. Because it looks like Kakao knows Germans that good that you are unable to surprise him with another Germans. But at least this time, DBG is not giving up. He's fighting. Honorable. He's standing for his ground. Think in war. Yeah, unfortunately, he's abandoning this warehouse. But what else he can do, to be honest? What else? What is right now in DBG mind? What is he thinking? What he wants to do? How he wants to fight against all of this? Okay, that cavalry is going 
for some cheeky bug the right thing. But looks like Kakao don't give uh, that much about it. Yep. Yep, Kakao is just slowly pushing forward. Right now he will destroy G and after that move straight towards the main base of the BG. Finally, the first time when the Kako allows DBG to engage his uh, crossbowmen's on the close quarters. <clears throat> yeah, but not enough spearmen's, not enough. They're disappearing. Is anyone here on the chat who played against Kakao and Ancestors Legacy, guys? Or maybe different question. Is anyone here with us on the chat who won against Kakao's Monday and Ancestors Legacy? Let's look over here. Boom. Bye bye, warehouse. And the catapult is picking another objective in the main base of DBG. Look at those poor villagers from DBG. Okay, but Kakos lost catapults. He have just two spearmen left right here. Ah, uh, no. Okay, he just... He's just healing up units and he will move back. Only watched, never played. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, the problem is that DBG have to attack the catapult. Otherwise, Kaka will just sit here and observe how the entire city is burning. Oh, I see that DBG fought well, but he knows. He knows that there is no other way. Next time I will participate. Obviously, guys, remember uh, that uh, to participate in a tournament, you have to be on our official Discord. In the description of the broadcast, you have a link to it. Join there and you will be always announced about the upcoming tournaments. But guys, obviously, we had hopes. High hopes for third map in the grand finally of the second part of community tournament in Ancestors Legacy. But unfortunately, Kakao's Manden once more dominated the battleground and become the best warlord of them all. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see how it was looking like one more time on the official ladder. Kakao's Manden. Kakao's Manden, guys. If we have any other good RTS player over here on chat or if you know any bring him on our discord let him train in ancestors legacy and maybe he will be able to defeat Kakaos in the third episode of the community tournament we don't know yet when it will happen but for sure we will do it guys so be sure to check out official discord of destructive creation for announcements or just social medias because for sure uh we will post there about it but uh, right now, GG one more time for the great warlord Kakaos Manden. Uh, he's rising the crown of the best uh, for the second time. But as well, GG uh, for the brave fight uh, to DBG, guys. 
unfortunately one more time i will say that we will not watch another uh, final today uh because still beard forgot about the match uh, he is in his work right now in his office uh bad guys promised us that they will deliver the uh, record of their match uh and i will try to put it on a youtube obviously this match if you missed it if you missed the first map or the second and you want to watch it entirely from the beginning uh will be uploaded on our youtube i don't know yet when but for sure till the end of that week uh gg gg and as always guys i will read once more uh the names of all of our participants the cheapness balti sega de uruguay um, wilhelm uh, sir leonidas kurz dbg vorop dr pepper uh, pippin uh, pippinster dr jackson frenzy anasto steelbeard alba soulia aln tauri and on the right side uh matiano panakan medcraft JK Man, Isaac, Poważny Legionista, Yelkala, Drake Warrior, Shadow, Kakaos Manden, Xart, Yoshimitsu, uh, JHL, Soldier Boy, Frezowski, Olivox, El Conquistador. Thank you so much, uh, guys, all of you, for participating in our uh, community tournaments. This is not the last one for sure, so be sure to check Discord for updates. And what can I say, guys? Uh, obviously, uh, we are not announcing the rewards for our glorious, victorious warlords at the beginning. But this time, as well as it was in the first episode of our tournament, we prepared some small uh, gifts for our uh, glorious, victorious winners. Uh, but those are mysteries, guys. Those are mysteries. So uh, tomorrow, probably, we will send uh, gifts for um, to, to our winners. Uh, and if you want to check what it is, you have to ask them. You have to ask DBG, Kakaos Manden, Steelbeard, and Poważny Legionista, because this is secret. But, but, as previously as well, we prepared something special for all of our participants. So to all of you, you guys um we, maybe it will be something small but we thought that it'll be good to give all of you uh a key to ancestors legacy game so if uh, you would like to train with someone maybe you have a girl or maybe you have a friend who can teach you to play better in ancestors legacy you will be able to supply him to provide him with a key to the ancestors legacy uh and you will be able to play together or uh, we will be able just to a uh, little bit increase the amount of um players in our beloved ancestors legacy uh so yeah guys uh, probably tomorrow i will contact all of our participants to give you the uh, cd keys uh to see to give you the steam keys for ancestors legacy um and one more time a uh, big shout out for our uh, winners uh for, the, for our winner kakaos Manden. but as well do not forget about that how brave dbg uh was fighting today thank you so much Thank you so much. It was a pleasure, guys, to uh, be with you uh, one more time in the community tournament. Uh, and it will be the pleasure for sure to organize another part of the community tournament for you in the nearest future. Uh, I'm really sad that we uh, are unable to watch the match for the third place. Uh, but as I said, it will appear on YouTube if the boys will provide me with the record. If not, then only this final will appear there. Thank you so much. One more time for today. It was the pleasure, Warlords. The Warlord can be only one. And he is... Kakaos Manden. GG. Well played. Have a great day. And see you soon.